Poison Control is a third person shooter RPG of sorts, released in 2020 developed by Nippon Each Software for the PS4 and Nintendo Switch. I'll be looking at the Switch version, but I wish I wasn't. I'll get to why in a bit. The plot goes something like this. You play as a person whose name and sex is determined by you that somehow ended up in hell. And shortly after waking up, your character is approached by a strange creature that fuses itself to them. Then introduces herself as a Clacia, poisonous monster that robs the planes of hell, and has now turned into something called a poison net after becoming your soulmate, a human and Clacia in one body. However, the catch is only one of you can have a physical form at a time. She also seems to have a bad case of amnesia, and can they seem to remember who she is or what her name was? So she asks you to just call her poison net for the time being. But what she does know is that there's only one way to return to the land of the living, and that is to take five golden stickers to the gates of heaven. The only way to get these stickers is to visit the hells of deceased woman and complete their tasks so that their souls can move on. But that will only be rewarded with a silver sticker, and you need five adults to get a gold one. You'll also occasionally butt heads with this lassie accompanied with a white poison net, who are also soulmates, trying to get stickers to leave hell as well. You may also run into this mysterious black poison net, who Disney seems to have a partner, but enjoys eating the Clacia. Disgusting. So it's up to you and poison net to clear these hells, collect the stickers, and get out of this poison pit, while also bonding with her and trying to understand what the hell is going on in this place. There's also multiple endings. I will not spoil any of them here. Just know that buying that really expensive bottle at Don Toro shop and making the right choices in the last few levels is required to get the best one. Poison Control, like I mentioned in the beginning, is a third person shooter with RPG elements. By holding down L, you can draw your gun and take aim and shoot at Clacias. There's also a bit of auto aim to help you lock onto them. Your shots are limited though. If you run out, you'll have to wait for your current poison to reload but you could obtain and equip multiple poisons and upgrade them with the cash you collected, which could definitely help out. You also have access to a technique called the Soul Shock, which creates a powerful shockwave that damages everything around you, but you can only perform it when your radio gauge is full. You'll also notice these big piles of poison on the ground that will hurt you if you stand in them. This is where Poison Egg comes in. By sending her out, she can safely contain the poison. The dotted line will show you where she's cleaning up as soon as you release the button but she can only be out for a few seconds. She'll automatically return to you if you run out of time or if she takes too much damage. You can also use her to break wee boxes if you wanted. The best way to clean up these parts of egg is by essentially power looping it, making a dotted line that returns to where your body was. You also might find stuff after clearing it, like cash, health pickups, or even chest containing stuff. Cleaning these big piles of mess also reminds me of Super Mario Sunshine a bit. The poison you collected can also be used to shorten the cooldown of your weapons, and can be used to fill up these butterflies next to your health bar, which revive you automatically if you run out of health. Fun fact, you can also fill up these butterflies for the use of microtransactions, unless you're severely lacking in dignity and common sense, don't, seriously. Most hells also have free poison gems you can find, and if you collect them all, you'll be awarded with that character's poison which again, you can change on your loadout in the poor speed on the overworld, or upgrade it with the Wonka you've collected. This game is enjoyable, for about an hour or so, but then you realise you're pretty much doing the same thing over and over, and the feeling of repetition kicks in fast. Also, the constant stopping and starting to read text and such really breaks the game's pace. Poison control is very chatty, especially in the opening hours when Poison Net tells you about everything and what it does. There's so many cutscenes and interruptions that really break the pace when I just want to play the damn thing. It feels like the game has a bit of an identity crisis. Does it want to be an ongoing action film third person shooter? Or does it want to be a slow decision making RPG with tons of text and info dumps? I did I think it knows. And I really wish they pulled a Kinecrus Uprising and had dialogue that played out during gameplay. Well, it kind of does, but in the worst way possible. As you're doing things, Poison Egg will often jut in with small quips. It's cute at first, but then gets very annoying very fast. So annoying to the point where I actually had to turn the voice audio down in the options so they wouldn't get on my nerves. At least it's near bounce pass in this game. The visuals are pretty nice. I really like the character designs, 
No, not for those reasons. I'm no horn dog, trust me. The UI and HUD are also very eye-catching as well. They're very stylistic. The stage environments, on the other hand, I'm near a big fan of. All the levels look very blocky, and a lot of them use the same 4 or 5 aesthetics, so a lot of them end up looking the same just with a different U shift. And the performance is another story. The frame rate dips a lot when a lot of chaos is going on. And the truth is, this is horrendous! It's not the worst, but you'll notice a lot of popping. There are also moments where could they see anything at all when bringing out points in there. And these issues are even worse in handheld mode. I also kept running into error messages after finishing stages on Dock 2. I can only assume these issues are a Switch problem though. The PS4 version probably has it a lot better. In closing, Poison Control is a game I really wanted to like, but its issues really held me back from doing so. I love the game's setting, visuals and style, the characters and the designs, the soundtrack is great stuff too, but the gameplay, while serviceable, turned me away with its constant stopping and going, the technical issues such as the bad draw distance, frame drops and other technical faults, and it really didn't do much to attempt to change things up a bit, so things start to get repetitive after a while. And must they bring up Poisonette's quips again? I still feel like the game has an identity crisis and Disney know where it wants to be. Can I give Poison Control a recommendation? I guess, but only a cautious one. Just know what you're getting yourself into and make preparations for it, like remembering to turn the voice volume down. Avoid paying full price for this, wait for a sale at the very least, and get the PS4 version if you can, because this Switch port, it's hell man. ちょっと恥ずかしいし、ここだけもうちょっと。